in the first half. Coming to him in no mean fashion either. Hughes searching for Aspel. Aspel. Good ball. Suck it. And that took a touch. Surely off somebody. Tony Brown appealing for a corner. Suck it. Whacking it across the goal. The Albion players in the goal mouth still appealing for the corner. I certainly thought it touched a gunner's boot as he went across there. Bob Wilson taking the goal kick and rather fortunate, I think, at this moment not to be a goal down with that cross ball. Hughes, the through ball. McNabb cutting it off. Wilson able to use his right foot. Brown for Hartford. Astor picking up Brown. Astor back for Hartford. It's Tony Brown. Bobby Hope. Hartford's run well. Corner given. Hartford ran very well for that return ball from Bobby Hope. West Bromwich is Hartford now taking up his uh, position in the goal mouth. West Bromwich Alvin, the first corner of the game. Bobby Hope to take it. Breaking out here for Lovett. Lovett going on. In behind everybody. Brown was there, but Lovett might have done better if he'd hit the high one across the box. Astle was free on the far side. Arsenal breaking out now through Story. Kennedy's offside. Pat Rice forward to Story. Story in a little difficulty from time to time this afternoon. It's Hartford now. Astle, Hartford, the return ball. Hartford! Oh, what a great little goal! What a magnificent little goal from Asa Hartford! His first goal for five months, and he won't do much better than that this season. 37 minutes gone. Asa Hartford gives West Bromwich Albion a 1 0 lead. Let's go back and see that little interplay between Astle and Hartford again. Well, there's the scoreline, one nothing, and that's only the second player to have scored a goal against Bob Wilson. There he is, Asa Hartford, only the second player to have scored a goal against Bob Wilson in some nine or ten games. Terry Payne of Southampton did it, but the game was won by Arsenal, 2-1, so Asa Hartford has really done something in this game. Bradford getting the touch, but didn't really intend to play it there. Hartford in, McClintock in real trouble on the... Slippery pitch. Kennedy quickly robbed Americ. Astle in hard. Astle has. Brown forward with him. Trying one himself. And by golly, very nearly got past Wilson with it. There's Jeff Astle. So we're continuing with the same ball. Which will please West Orange Arby. That's the one they put into the net just now. Corner kick. Obviously, West Brom thought they were going for a, a goal kick there. Two minutes to half-time. Arsenal get their second corner of the game. Armstrong with it. Oh, it's a good one. And hooked away for George. And it must be McClintock. Got to be McClintock. But the fellow who really set that up was Charlie George. There he is, number 11. He's the man who really set it up. McClintock's job to get on the end of it was relatively simple, but he's a happy fellow, the captain of Arsenal. 1-1 the scoreline. We can go back now and see what it was that Charlie George set up with his shot. There's the scoreline with about one minute to go to half-time. Bobby Hope. Love it. 
wanting assistance. It's John Kay. Still more thrills then coming up in the second half. It way across here, and Astle's got a long way to go for it. Clintock losing it. Astle having himself a good game here this afternoon. Sug it, Astle again. Astle, that looked very much like something or other, but the... He's picked up an offside flag, referee Clive Thomas, from the far side of the field. Armstrong picking up Graham. Good challenge then from Lovett. George picking up George Armstrong. Down the line is Radford. Kennedy sprinting to get across into the box. Armstrong again, back for McNabb. Radford spending a fair bit of time forward in a left side position. Here's John Samuels on a substitute for Pat Rice. Charlie George waiting for Story to make the run. Hartford has scored an own goal. Hartford has scored an own goal. And he is sick, 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 sick. Came back magnificently to go with Story. So Hartford, who gave West Bromwich Albion the lead, has now given Arsenal the lead at 2-1. You can go back now and see that unhappy little man's dreadful moment. John Kay, good dummy then for to put Albion forward again. Tony Brown only as far as the crowd and a throw in to Arsenal. Tony Brown really not having too much of a look in in this second half. A couple of his blasts in the first half went desperately close to increasing his 27 goals total. But he hasn't seen much of it in the second half. As the Arsenal offside trap very nearly came unstuck then. They're saved as the ball goes into touch. Bob McNabb. John Kay. Wild little touch on for Astor. And now Tony Brown. And he doesn't miss those. Tony Brown, as we've just said, so little of the game for him to see in the second half. Almost inspired by my words and drags a goal back for West Bromwich Albion with four minutes to go. 2 2 the score. So let's go back and see how Tony Brown tied it all up then. Oh, Tony Brown, who scored one against uh, Leeds last week, gets one here against Leeds' rivals at the top of the table, Arsenal. And the scoreline tied up at 2 2. And now it's all to play for. Arsenal, one would suspect, would be happy with a point with a little less than four minutes to go. On the other hand, they can't afford to lose this one now. Well, Bob Wilson finds a third man to put a ball past him. Hartford and Brown this afternoon. And here's Kennedy. Armstrong is open on the left side. Free kicks given, though. Occasion when perhaps the referee might have given an advantage situation. Armstrong. While now back in defence again, uh, Albion having got back in the game, suck it breaking out, McNabb went with him all the way. Story for Samuels, that's Hartford's ball. Bobby Hope. Albion supporters really picking it up now. Merrick breaking on the left side. They want a winning goal. That's too close to the goalkeeper, really he lost it! What a fantastic piece of goalkeeping then by Wilson. He came, lost it, and he still managed to get back and save it. The mark of a real class tradesman, that. 
Here's Lovett. Astle down. Brown trying to get the touch, but uh, free kick given against Astle. Two minutes ago, and many of the spectators who'd started to file away from this game beginning to come back in again now. Bob Wilson, the saviour of the side with that last save of his, tremendous stuff. John Wall losing it to Radford, wins it back. Kennedy for Radford though. Graham and Armstrong is breaking on the left as usual. Murphy Thomas having a look at his watch. Hughes intercepting. Fair bit of injury time played now. Two minutes of injury time gone. Wonder if Radford has time to get this. He doesn't. Reverie Thomas has pointed to the centre circle. It's all over. Arsenal have got themselves a precious point towards the total they need for the First Division Championship title.